Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and we got uh, a brand new piece of awesome equipment here we wanted to share. Uh, everybody knows uh, from watching our videos that we have solar powered house here. We made that conversion quite a few years ago. Awesome idea. If you have ever thought about doing it, we highly recommend it. It's really, really cool. Uh, we've converted a lot of our other things right over to electric. Yeah. We have electric power tools. We'll put car. a few car. electric car now. And the only thing we had left really was this old thing here. This is our old riding mower that we kind of inherited with the house. It was in the shed here when we took over, mm -hmm. uh, when we bought this house and it was quite old. And almost every year we've had to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. It'll break and we'll have to fix it. And we finally decided- It's funny because it has this thing where it's like there's a turtle on the bottom and there's a hair on the top. Right. To tell you how fast right. you're going, even though the turtle won the race. Yeah, I mean, this thing's pretty old. This thing's pretty old. Seat was falling apart. We've had to fix it multiple times. Uh, the pulleys broke. Uh, this was like the third time we fixed that. And again, it was kind of cool. We just kind of inherited it. Because um, it was free, right? Well, yeah, it came with the, the house. house. Yeah. The guy actually wanted to charge me for it, and I talked him into just giving it to me with the house. So here's what we did. We decided to finally make the leap and make our last purchase of electric uh, options here. And, and it's cool because it's like a little go-kart. Yes. So this is a Ryobi. Uh, you may have seen it. They've been at Home Depot now for quite a few years. We decided to finally get one. Uh, as you know, when you do the, when you buy an electric car, you get a tax rebate back. So we got seven and a half thousand dollars back in our taxes from buying the electric car, right? Yeah. So I took three of that and purchased this. Bought it online from uh, HomeDepot.com. And what did we do? We went to Giant Eagle, right? Yeah. And we bought the we gift bought cards from Giant cards. Eagle. Yeah. So we get like perks every time we go to Giant Right, Eagle. so now like the next eight times we go shopping or 10 times we go shopping, we get 20% off our groceries, huh. which is a huge saving. So yeah. Because we, bought, we got, bought a bunch of gift cards. For right, them. good idea there. So if you if you buy a big purchase like this, buy the gift cards from Giant Eagle or, you know, I think Myers and those other kind of stores do that too. And then you get the perks and then you get off groceries, save you more money. So many deals out there. So anyway, this is the 100 amp one. The reason we bought the 100 amp one, we do have a pretty huge yard here. Um, we go all the way around here, all the way around the side and the front, and we've showed you our yards before. It goes all the way around the other side of the house there. We've got about almost a whole acre here that we have to do, which is why we use a riding mower. And the 75 amp one um, basically has uh, about two hours of, of energy in it. And this 100 amp one has about two and a half. And we figured with the leaves and everything that we would go the extra mile. Got your old work shoes there. Those are Miranda's old shoes that you used to do yard work yeah, in. Yeah, I just got new shoes. So. <laughs> so anyway, we did go the extra mile to get the 100 amp. And here's why. They had a Memorial Day sale, right? Yeah. And they had the 100 amp mower for cheaper than the 75. So it was 2,500 bucks. Seems like a lot of money, but here's the thing. Um, they ship it to you for free and they send it in a big crate. We'll show you what the crate looks like. And all you got to do is basically put on the steering wheel, put on the seat and, uh, put the little plug in here for mulching. And we did get the whole bagging system for the leaves too. That's the other reason we got the two and a half, uh, the higher, more power, longer lasting one is because when we do the leaves around here, you see all these trees around here. When we do all the leaves around here, there's a lot. And then we compost them over here in our garden. And that's starting to grow now. We have a big old pumpkin patch that we grow there every year. And we compost our leaves there. And then that all fills in with pumpkins and everything, right? Well, yeah, the only thing is, is my, my big old stainless steel thing doesn't fit in the cup holder. We're going to find a, have to find a smaller thing. Mm -hmm. So this thing is awesome. Um, so again, then the bag attachment was like 300. So it was like 2,800 total. And then there's taxes and everything like that. But the shipping was free. Uh, came in a few days. A Memorial Day sale. We popped open the crate and very, very cool. So it's completely electric. So all you do is you turn it on and it's gonna tell you right here uh, when you turn it on, it's gonna show how much energy you have and how many hours you've had and things like that. It's kind of hard to see it's like the whole with the sun. Thing. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see with the sun, but basically um, I've cut last night or I'm sorry, this morning, I cut, almost finished the whole yard. I left this little area in the back for Jack. And you can see here this green line. It's hard to see in the sun, but I didn't even use half of the power 
to cut this. So it's very accurate. And then it counts the hours up here and uh, used about two, 2.18 hours so far. And again, the sun's on there, so it's kind of hard to see. But it has headlights too. I wonder if you, you can ride this on the road. It's got the he uh, LED headlights. Lights up really good there. I did use it at night last night uh, just to see how it worked. It worked really good. Yeah, LED, so. It's got reverse mode. You can actually mow in reverse, which is, you know, my old mower couldn't do that at all. What's that? You're going backwards? Yeah, you can actually put it in reverse. Oh, wow. And you can mow in reverse if you've got a tight area you got to sneak into or something. And it has a cruise control. So very, very cool. And also has a USB port. For, is that for your phone? Yeah. So you can plug your phone in here well, it's and stick like it in this. here and listen to music while you're out doing yard work. How cool is That's that? Fancy. Totally yeah. unnecessary, but it's awesome. I mean, if, yeah. And so we got the big bag attachment and everything and all that. So, yeah, so we just want to share with everybody. This is a really, really cool thing. We kind of waited a couple years. We were just fixing up the old one for a few years just to kind of see how the reviews went on this. It got such good reviews and it continued to do well. So when they had the sale and that guy broke again, we decided, hey, it's time to get it. So hopefully it'll last us a nice long time. Um, there are no, uh, you know, all the bearings and all the joints are, you know, grease free. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, the battery just plugs right into here. We'll show you how this works, when, you know, when Jack's done here. Just pull it in the garage, plug it into there. We put everything from the garage in the shed so that we could take this and put it in the garage. So we'll show you how that works. But yeah, really, really awesome yeah, stuff so here. more space. Um, and it also, it has a bag attachment that goes on here. And the front, they now, this is one of the other reasons we decided to get it, because the front now has a plow attachment. For about 300 bucks, you get a big old plow for this. In the winter time, plow your driveway. So total cost of everything, even when I get the plow, which I didn't get yet, be about $3,300. I'm also going to ask our accountant about if this kind of thing can be have a discount on your taxes since it's uh, electric. It might not be like a car, but it might be something. So anyway, check it out. That's we love it so thing. far. Go ahead and uh, turn the blades on and put it forward. <laughs> about this is is you can see it doesn't make any noise when it's running the only thing you actually hear is the blades the actual wind that the blades generate which most of the time you can't hear because the engine's so loud so it's really really cool um, I mean that is incredibly quiet compared to how our old mower was and there's no vibration like our old mower it's really nice so Jack's going to finish this up and then we'll kind of show you how we plug it in and everything. While he's doing that real quick, I'm going to show you the bag attachments that I have. Um, comes with the big bag attachments. Has the, uh, this is the thing that you can just throw the, you can just throw the grass if you want. Also has the big huge bag attachment here that hangs on the back. Two big bags. Really cool there. And the big, that's the big arm there that, uh, you know puts it up so that was like about 300 hours for all of that to be added on and um so really neat man i mean we love it we are completely amazed at the power and the energy that it has and i really like the fact that i don't really have to do any kind of maintenance or anything this thing is just crushing it um and just just have it on the mulch i didn't even bag it or nothing i just want to test it see how it worked incredibly powerful incredibly smooth and fast no vibration Jack gave it a thumbs up like 10 times. He loves it. The nice part is, is I do a lot of these tricky areas like around the bricks and everything like that and all this kind of stuff out by the street. And then I take the blower and I blow some of this stuff up and do some edging and trimming while he finishes up this back area here. So it works out pretty well. He's a big help. We got a lot of stuff coming in this year. We did some, oh, we got some irises coming in here. We've got, this is one of the things we did. We took an old wheelbarrow that we found actually at the old house when we moved in. Uh, in the garage, this thing probably like 100 years old. Put a bunch of wildflowers in here, so we'll see how they come up. I just thought I'd make a good decoration in that. This is one of the areas we redid when we moved in. Just was all roots and mud over here, so we bricked it in and mulched it and did the same thing over here. We got a lot of areas like this, and we'll be showing you a lot more about the yard and some of the things we did and some of the things we've done over, over the years and stuff, you know? 
I just wanted to get a shot of here. So basically we just back it into the corner of the garage here. It's out of the way. We still have room for the cars here then. My car's over there, Miranda's not home. So, but even when her car's here, we can kind of just pull right in here and just back it right into this corner. So it's out of the way. We put, put all the bikes and all the stuff that was here in the shed, so there's room in here. And so what do we got here? We got, we didn't even use half, we got about an acre. We didn't even use a half of the energy there. And 2.3 something hours but I was just kind of riding around last night with the lights on through the neighborhood just to check it out because I thought it was fun. <laughs> so I didn't actually have the mower, the blades on. So uh, basically you just turn it off. And what we're gonna do here, oh, let's check out the headlights real quick just to see, might be able to kind of see how they look in the garage here. Pretty bright. Pretty bright, yeah. It's kind of hard to see with the lights, but uh, they, they did light up a lot last night when I was looking at them. So, show them how to plug it in, buddy. You got the charger right here behind it on the ground. Get the thing up on a hook, plugs in right there. You just flip this little guy up here, plug it in. It's just a triangle. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah. He had never done it before. Look how fast he figured it out. So it's just a little triangle. Plug it in, good to go. Kind of like the car. Excuse my sniffing, this grass and pollen has been getting to me a little bit. So yeah, so it's just like my car. So you got, got it plugged in here, it's just a 110. Got the transformer thing right there. Give it a little room, this is all concrete surrounding it. Not supposed to put anything too close to it, give it a little room to breathe because it does get a little warm. And then they say just uh, keep it plugged in all the time. And then it's just sitting here waiting for us. The cool part is in the winter time, we're gonna have a plow on this guy, and we'll be able to pull right out, just knock that driveway right out, right? Mm -hmm. The reason I really wanted a plow is because a lot of kids park, the bus picks them up over here, a lot of kids walk here. Our sidewalk, we kind of have a weird situation. Our sidewalk goes all the way around, all the way, all the sidewalk you see, there's another thing that goes all the way around the side of the house there, to the next uh, neighbor's corner, it's all of that way around. Oh, that was some kind of falcon or something up there. So with all that sidewalk, you had to do that sidewalk a couple times, didn't you? Didn't wasn't so fun, was it? It's gonna be fun now, isn't it? <laughs> so it's kind of nice. So we'll be able to do that. We might end up getting chains or something for the tires. We'll see how it works. But being electric, it is pretty heavy and everything. So let's show them the case that it comes in when you order it. It basically, yeah, it's this huge metal crate. It comes in this crate and flip that up. Show them how that was flipped up there. So that was flipped up and it just comes in this big metal crate and they bring it on a truck and they load it and they just put it right in your garage for you. And then we just took this off, show them how that comes down. And we just backed it right off of there. We just, pull, we just pulled it off manually and um, we don't know we're put it together. I'm probably going to take this apart. There's actually some really good pieces of metal in here. I'm going to take this apart and probably keep this. We might use it for something. But yeah. pretty cool, huh? Right, it could be like your own little sit-down area. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a bench out of it or yeah. something. Like a Work bed. bench. You can make a bed. could make a table out of it. Look at it. Maybe I'll make a, t Maybe I'll make a table a out table of it. A table or a bed. So we're going to be making some more outside videos to show you guys some good ideas and things you could do. Some of the work we've done around here. Some of the things we plant. When we moved into this house, this house was sitting on the market for like what three years or something yeah. everything was out of control like totally out of control so uh we did a lot of work here we took a lot of trees and bushes out that were out of control and jack helps me using all the other tools and stuff so anyway there it is if you have any questions or comments hit us up in the comments section we absolutely love this we've been waiting a long time to get it really didn't want to spend that much money on it um but after having that old mower and having to fix it so many times and everything I decided if I'm gonna spend two grand for a good one, I might as well spend another grand. We're gonna go and... to the pool too, because we're hot. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to the pool. I'm sweating. We're, I, I figured I might as well spend another grand and have something I don't have to worry about. There's no gas, there's no oil, there's no belts. These two motors are independent. There's no belts or anything. So it's really, really cool. The only thing you have to do is change 
there's like a there's like a lube in the tr in the transmission here like the gearbox and that only has to happen every hundred hours I looked in the manual so we only have they said like two and a half hours so far um, so that should last us an entire year or possibly two before we hit another 98 hours right our sidewalk goes all the way down there all the way past the, uh, like, like by that corner and then all the way here this is on the corner and then all the way back down that way that's tough to shovel isn't it so how excited are you about the plow it's fun because you don't have to shovel does the plow make you does the new mower and the plow make you want to do a dance <laughs>